hello everyone welcome back back with a vlog um very bright lipstick i did a collaboration with rose ink yesterday um and i'm wearing one of the lipsticks it actually looks a different color on this camera it's not as kind of ready in person it's more of like a coral kind of color it's Rosie Huntington Whiteley, her brand Rose Inc. I did like a whole shoot with them yesterday, so I just put on the lipstick again today. But I'm just about to go shoot another partnership I'm doing, this coat. I showed this to you in my last video. It's from Karen Millen. It's so nice, it's like a, a light trench coat, but like I've been looking for one, this color for so long, and I feel like I finally found the perfect one. So Ken and Serum are gonna go shoot that now, and then, come back and just keep working and I must have a catch up with you it's been so long I've been to California in the meantime um, we had a wedding there and then we stayed in LA for a night and then we went down to Joshua Tree remember I was telling you all this in the last video um, so I need to like catch you up it was so fun such a good trip but ever since I got back I've kind of just been catching up it was Easter and then I had that big shoot yesterday and I had to do rehearsals for the day before so this week is just flying it's already Thursday but I'm gonna vlog a good bit today and then I'm actually gonna show you my nighttime routine tonight. It's something that I've been like meaning to talk to you about. As you know, I'm big into my morning routines, but I also have kind of a nice night routine, which really helps me to wind down and just like get to sleep as quick as possible so I can get up early in the morning. So I'll show you that and I'll talk you through it. But first I'm gonna go get this shot. Kellen is waiting for me. So I'll bring you outside with us. Jojo, we're going for walkies. <laughs> it's later in the day. Tommy and Joey are here. Tommy's back in his shorts that time of year again, That's even though crazy. it never really stops. Um, we're going to go collect some dinner from JG Melons. We're going to get the chili bowls. I think they're so famous for their burgers, but we love their the chili. chili and it's Thursday, it's nearly the weekend. Cheese. It was a busy day, busy week, so we're gonna get a treat tonight just for takeaway. We wanna bring it home. So it's not as bad. Yeah. It doesn't feel like you're eating out then as much. Especially when you go to pick it up. So you like walk there. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> this is how far ahead she walks and was like. <laughs> Okay, we're home, we got the goods. Doesn't look great, but trust me, it's so good. Kellen got the same. It's delicious. Okay, dream situation. New Kardashians. So excited, I'm loving it. We have all the power, all the money, and all the resources. I'm gonna bring you along on my kind of quick, but good I think night routine I'm big into morning routines obviously so I feel like I should show you my night routine as well because it's just as important because you have to you know get to sleep at a good time and have a good sleep in order to be able to get up early so I'm going to just like talk you through what I do first things first um I always shower before I go to bed I don't wash my hair every night but I did tonight so I'm going to actually just leave it dry naturally maybe I'll put a little bit of like heat on it just to speed it up but I'm gonna put in um, some hair oil if I leave it dry naturally and it'll be really nice and like soft and shiny in the morning and the next is skincare so I'll pop up my camera okay hopefully that is gonna stay there I'm actually getting a new camera that's gonna be a bit smaller and I think easier to like put up places but it just hasn't arrived yet I've ordered it but anyway skincare so I'm big into my nightly skincare routine just like the morning and I've talked to you about this before like loads of times but I really think like in my opinion the night is where your skin really just gets to take a break like get all the goodness into it and just rehydrate and get ready for the next day so I've talked about um obviously loads of different products that I use one brand I have been continuously using this year and absolutely loving is Codex. And I've already showed you some of the products I use in the morning from them. Remember the Be Align, I love their products for 
for the morning and even sometimes at night as well but they also have another collection called and two and these are the three products from that collection that i really like i've tested out a good few of them just like the bia line and i've kind of decided on my favorite ones and the ones that i really see a difference from so i wanted to like show you me using these and i'll like link everything down below for you as well so you can try them out it's fully clean the ingredients are incredible and like that's truly what i think is making the difference for my skin because you know there's so many products out there these days and like of course i do use other brands as well there's some products from other brands that i think i'll always use but i'm just really trying to incorporate really really cl like clean ingredients where i can and just like if there's one product that i can make fully clean like i'm gonna stick to that um so if you are interested in trying them out at any stage i have a code as well so i'll pop that on the screen and i'll leave the link down below and when you click the link down below it shows you like all my favorite products from them on one page so it's super easy to find everything and to shop and if you have any questions as always just let me know so let me just like get into it and show you what i'm gonna start off my routine with so this is the Antu radiance mist i was to double check the names i love a mist i just think at the end of the day your skin just needs a bit of refresh and you can kind of put this on like a like lots of different parts of your routine and you can put this on throughout the day as well even over makeup it's a really like refreshing um you know kind of product so i just glow. Sorry, I can't talk when I do that. Anyway, I just like spray it all over. It's really, really refreshing. And this whole Antu line is very much about restoring and strengthening your skin. And I've been traveling a lot lately and I feel like my skin, it just needs a bit of TLC now that I'm back in New York. We were in California and we were all over the place there literally for five days. And I wasn't the best at my skincare, so it's time now to get back on it. So then the next part that I go in with is the Brightening Face Serum. This one, um, you can see what it looks like. And I just do like a couple of pumps of this. Also ignore my nails, it's on my list to get them done this weekend. You know, after traveling, you just have like so many bits to do and to get on top of. Um, basically like one or two pumps. I think this is actually, I would say, my favorite of the nighttime products I use from them. Just smells really nice, like feels really nice on the skin and like it's a brightening serum. And I swear, I actually really believe it brightens up my skin straight away. And just with like continuous use, it just makes such a difference. I'm definitely seeing a difference. Even Kellen said to me the last day I FaceTimed her and she was like, Erica, your skin is literally looking so good. She was like, what are you doing? And I was like, Kodak products and obviously just like eating well and taking care of it overall. But I do think good ingredients make the world of a difference. That's the serum. And then I go in with the night cream afterwards. I love this too. It's also the brightening night cream. So again, same situation, just a couple of pumps. I'm kind of like generous with my night cream because I really want to give my skin um just lots of hydration during the night and i feel like it just needs a break and it needs all the goodness i'm going to put a bit more on you can obviously do less if you want i just i do like a lot of night cream i kind of like a thick layer of it so that i can really sink and soak in so yeah feels so much better already and i as i said i'm just really trying to be good to my skin after all the travels and the plane and you know when your skin just feels a bit dehydrated that's like how I'm feeling right now and it just feels a bit dull so I want to be extra good to it now this weekend so anyway that is my skincare as I said I have a code I'll leave a link down below I love your Bia line as well you've seen me talk about that I use a lot of these in the morning and um, I can link the video below that I talk about these ones um for my morning routine and then obviously the Antu line for nighttime. so yeah any questions let me know and I'll show you what I what I do next We have a little special guest. Hi, Jojo. Have you already done your night routine? He's with me here tonight. He's tasting the. He's trying to lick my skincare off. Okay, I'm gonna make my tea now. Okay, so the next is like getting all my little bits ready for my bedside table, basically. So I always have a nighttime tea. I kind of switch between brands. This is what I have left at the moment, but I really like the Saqqara ones. I also like the one from Trader Joe's. They have one. Or else sometimes I'll just do a peppermint tea because I find that it really helps with 
digestion, like if I've just had dinner or whatever, you know, an hour before to go before bed, but I'm gonna do this hookah one tonight. Okay, so this is the usual lineup. So I have my sleep tea. Then I always try and drink like one of these before I go to sleep. I always like fill it up. I've already kind of started. But just getting like one glass of water in because I've usually not drank enough water in the day. So I always try and have one of these. I love these glasses from Amazon. And the straws are also Amazon. They're like a glass and they like wash really well and everything. And then I usually have a candle as well. I, I kind of try to light this maybe like 10 minutes before I want to get into bed just so that it smells nice in here. Usually I'll do like a calming one, but I had this um, started out in the hall, so I just brought that in for tonight. And then I also have um, in my drawer, I have a, see I have more candles in here too. Um, I have some spray, some pillow spray. So this one I really like from the Handmade Soap Company. I'll put that on my pillow now. And then I've also um, used this one as well. It's from Max Benjamin. Oh, and then one more thing actually that's in here. Sometimes I'll take my sleep gummies. I've talked about these a lot on my Instagram. I'm not sure if I've talked about them here, possibly. But basically they're CBD gummies with melatonin from Highline Wellness. And I'll just usually have like one of these, sometimes two, if I just feel like I need a little help getting to sleep. And if when I travel, I bring these. This one's nearly gone. I actually have a refill. I like to always have them because... You know those nights when you just kind of know you need a bit of help to go to sleep i take these and you don't feel groggy the next morning like you feel really really good so i can link these below as well in case any of you have trouble sleeping okay so then when i'm in bed i don't do this step every night but sometimes if i feel like i need to i will i actually think i will tonight because i feel a bit wired after today i don't know i've just had a busy day after traveling and stuff like trying to catch up so i think i will do one of these so basically like i use a lot of different meditation apps um but this is a new one that i found and it's not kind of just meditation it's like very much affirmations and there's some really short ones which i like so for example like right up here grounding affirmations for a restful sleep i might just like even pop that on the background like while i'm reading my book like i won't just specifically like listen to it sometimes um whereas the other sleep ones i think there's like usually a good few of them um but as you can see like they have a lot of oh not that one oh yeah loving and gracious grounding nighttime yeah they have a lot of good options and then the very last step <laughs> i know it seems like there's a lot of little parts but it just becomes such a habit after a while and also it's just about nine o'clock now so like i usually my my aim every night is to be like asleep latest by 10 so i try to be in bed like between nine and half nine i think it may be like 10 past nine now or something and then that just gives me a chance to like do all my little bits and spray my pillow and like obviously my skincare and stuff sometimes it's done before nine sometimes i do it at nine or whatever um and then it gives me a chance to read as well and i find that obviously it's great to read and it's like the time of the day that i set aside for that like some people do read in the morning some people read on their lunch break but like nighttime is my time to do that so i like to have you know the guts of like a half an hour at least to get a good bit of reading done um and it also puts me to sleep in the best possible way like i find that if i read for a half an hour i just sleep so well like sometimes tommy will come in and i'm like the book is like in my face <laughs> and i'm like asleep on the bed and he has to like put it away so yeah i really recommend that if you kind of are struggling to wind down sometimes like i just i don't want to say don't do this but Whoa! i find that oh just, he barks at the dog next door but yeah when it comes to tv i find that at the weekend it's fine because i'm not like in a major rush to get up like super super early at the weekend so i'll usually watch tv at like on friday nights or saturday nights if i'm staying in but sometimes i find during the week like for two reasons one like the blue light that definitely doesn't help with your sleeping and then secondly it's very tempting to keep watching and watch another episode like just one more and then before you know it it's like 12 o'clock and you're not going to get up early the next morning so i try to just keep the tv for the week for the week end nights and then i do the reading 
during the weekdays just like a small little thing and obviously everyone's different i'm sure some i know some people that have to you know go to sleep with the tv on it puts them to sleep like everyone is different but just for me personally i find that it keeps me awake <laughs> and i want to keep watching like four more episodes so i can't even let myself start but anyway that is a quick little look at my nighttime routine if you have any questions about it let me know um it kind of changes every now and again and i'll add things in or i'll take things out or i'll do different beauty things sometimes it's more like extensive than other times um but but that's more or less like the gist of it every night so yeah hope you enjoyed that any questions let me know and i'll okay. see you this the next morning my bedroom's a bit of a mess i just took off all the sheets and duvet covers and everything and put them up to our laundry room i want to give the just bedroom I refresh for the weekend I have a pile of clothes <laughs> staring at me on the chair um we all have one of the chairs that everything just gets thrown onto and like the busier my week is the worse the chair is so I have to tackle all that so I'm just giving the bedroom a refresh so sorry there's no made bed and duvet and stuff um also I went to the park for a walk like it looks like I barely slept even though I got a good solid eight hours but i'm really really struggling with allergies this year for some reason i always kind of do but this year i'm like getting headaches when i go into the park my eyes start tearing i went there this morning for a walk and like i was putting on eye makeup there and i couldn't even do it like under my eye i usually th do that but i couldn't because it, they're going to just like tear if you have any recommendations for allergies let me know i take zyrtec they have it over here and I find that helps but I'm still I don't know I'm still kind of struggling so that's this morning but there's a few things I remember that I wanted to tell you before I finish up this vlog today the first one is okay so I haven't styled my hair as you know I washed it last night this is just it natural um this is like how it looks when I air dry it it's not terrible but it's a bit you know kind of on the frizzy side but one thing I wanted to talk to you about is I bought I bought the Dyson Airwrap a couple of I suppose one or two months ago at this stage and I've definitely like liked it but I will say it took a while to get used to but recently I bought separately the longer barrels let me show you okay take no notice of the duvet cover it's in the wash um but these ones these thinner longer barrels because obviously my hair is on the longer side and lots of you recommended me to do this and I was kind of thinking like what main difference is it going to make you know I've already paid like six hundred dollars for the Dyson Airwrap and these are like an extra 40 or 50 I think but oh my god so worth it um if you also have longer hair get these you can get them in different widths and sizes but I think this could be the thinnest one I can link the exact one below but well worth it they really make a difference and they kind of make the curls last longer for me too I know it's annoying because like as I said we've already paid so much for the Dyson Airwrap I'm like do I seriously need to buy more attachments but it makes a difference um it kind of like i think it makes them last longer the curls like obviously it's not done now but when they're done i'll pop in a picture of when i did them for the wedding in california i used the longer ones the, the wave curls like they lasted all day so I definitely recommend them i'll link them down below and then the second thing i want to talk to you about was the dress i ended up wearing for the wedding so i know in the last video I tried on some dresses that I got on Farfetch and other places and in the end I went with a completely different one. I kind of knew that was going to happen to be honest. So basically there's this brand called Amanda Up Richard. I'll pop in the picture of the dress I ended up going with here and I went on their site like I think probably like a week before the wedding and I saw that dress and I was like oh my god I really love that color that style but of course it was gone in my size I looked everywhere like on Revolve all the other websites that they stock on and I couldn't find it anywhere so this is such a good trick so instead I just like put the name into Google and like up popped like a Poshmark listing so I ended up buying it secondhand a little bit cheaper it was I think the girl wore it once it was absolutely perfect it like basically was brand new and she was so sweet she like express posted it to me so that I definitely would have it on time and it worked out so well so if you ever find a dress that you can't find in your size like on their website or on a different website look on secondhand sites like type in the name of the brand the exact name of the dress and more often than not like somebody is selling it and it worked out really well i actually 
had another long sleeve dress that I was thinking about wearing but I'm really glad I didn't because the day of the wedding in LA it was 35 degrees Celsius so I feel like I would have been really sweaty with a long sleeve dress so this one worked out so well I really recommend that dress A but also that brand I feel like it's not like crazy cheap but I think for those kind of dresses it's not the worst like it's not in the three four hundred range like they're like 150 180 200 which i know is still a lot but they are the kind of dresses as well that you could sell on just like that girl did and i bought it and it's more sustainable overall so yeah good little tip good little trick for you and just in case you're looking as well someone asked me i wore a size small i probably would have ordered an extra small from the website but the girl was selling the size small and i was like you know what i'll i'll make it work and it was actually fine it was like the tiniest bit big for me i was kind of like pulling it up a little bit but nothing like nothing annoying and it looked fine in person and pictures and everything so a size small and i'm like five four for reference so yeah that's a little friday update i'm kind of at my desk today also one more thing like i am definitely getting old guys i don't know why i did to my back during the week is this just what happens when you turn 30 like i can barely move my back i must have pulled something in a workout so let me show you i have this like heat pad at my desk i'm such a granny at heart <laughs> remember when i was like sick a couple of years ago tommy bought me this in like Dwayne reed or something and it is the best thing ever um if you have cramps or anything or if you have a pain somewhere and i put it on like the highest one and i put it on this chair i move this chair over here when i'm working at my desk um this is one of the chairs from the living room but it's it's very comfy for a work situation and i have this here and i'm editing and the dream i need to get some deadlines finished today so i don't think i'm gonna vlog much more from today because i'd love to get this video edited and finished so i think i'll leave it here hopefully you enjoyed kind of a quick enough vlog i find that since like tiktok has blown up more and more i find that my attention span on youtube isn't as kind of long so i i want to try and keep my videos like maybe around the 20 minute mark under like let me know in the comments are you still liking longer videos even though we're all kind of getting programmed to watch shorter things just like personally from my experience i kind of like shorter things so let me know maybe I, maybe that's just me if you still like the longer videos let me know and i can film longer videos or if you'd rather keep me under rather me keep them on the, under the 20 minutes let me know obviously your feedback is like the most important so anyway hopefully you enjoyed this one any questions about anything i showed or chatted about the skincare the dyson whatever it is let me know in the comments and i will see you in the next one bye